So here we are starting day nine at the sugarcane mill in Tully. Um, about a half hour drive from Mission Beach. So we just got here just in time for the 11 a.m. tour. So that's pretty good. Uh, $20 each for the tour. So not too bad price wise. But yeah, I'll stop talking. Let's get on with it. That was it. The sugar cane mill tour was good. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. Got a free bag of sugar as well. Like a little tully sugar. I don't know if we're supposed to just eat this like straight out of the bag, but it's pretty tasty. Um, but yeah, we're not really sure what we're gonna do now. So I think we're gonna wander around Tully for a bit maybe. Um, tonight we're going to Townsville. So I think we're gonna find something to do in between there. But yeah, let's just see what the day brings. We've come across the golden gumboot in Tully. 7.9 meters tall, that's how much rainfall the town had in 1950. It's pretty interesting, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so, that's the golden gumboot in Tully. Like that weird woman said. 7.9 meters tall, check it out. Oh, you can go up it. What do you mean, go up it? Just stairs around the back. All right, hold this, hold this. Day three. Day four. We're on our way to Townsville. We took a uh, sort of a bit of a detour into Cardwell. Um, came to Cardwell Spa Pool for lunch. Was hoping to get a bit of a swim in, but um, it's all dried up because of the dry season, so uh, it's pretty stagnant, pretty still. Probably not very safe for swimming. Probably get all sorts of stomach bugs and everything. So I think we're gonna give that one a miss. But yeah, so I guess if you're thinking of coming this way and it's sort of the dry season, so maybe look it up first if you can, see if you can swim in it, because it is a bit of a trek out, so it's like a few kilometers dirt road and stuff so um, you don't want to come all this way and not be able to go swimming. I think we'll just head on to Townsville instead, see what's there, get there before sunset and try and find ourselves a campsite. It's a shame as well because it looks like there's a uh, little sort of jacuzzi kind of thing made here but now it's just full of moss and rocks and yeah I wouldn't want to be going in there now. Well, we've made it to Townsville for the night. Nothing much too exciting. Our campsite is currently behind a BP petrol garage between a Bunnings warehouse and the petrol garage just there. Um, but it's free, so can't really complain. However, it is time for another special episode of Camper Van Kitchen with our master chef, Miss Wallace. So what's on the menu today? Um, well, I'm going to be making fajitas, but these breasts are absolutely huge, so we're going to be <laughs> feeding the thousands. Are they now? Today. Are they? Got some huge breasts there. So this is the most important part. Of course, it's my part, the most responsibility. Got to squeeze them breasts nice and good, get all the spices in there. One thing we have realised is cooking onions in such a bad space 
is a bad idea. <laughs> We're both standing there crying pretty much, but uh, we're nearly there. I think the worst of it's gone. So, what have you got in your fajita? So, layer it up with salsa, sour cream, chucking a bit of lettuce on there. I got this from a little farm uh, stall on the side of the road. Not bad, $2.50. Um, and then, obviously, chicken peppers, onion. Mine's a lot more simple. Go in with the sour cream and then the chicken and peppers. Keeping it simple, get those pure tastes. But yeah, it's looking good. Can't wait. I'm gonna leave you guys because I'm starving.